Hey guys, what's going on? I'm learning something new now, and you know me. I'm not very good with DMX, but I've just replaced my 3U rack space Elation Operator 192 with this. This is my DMX from American DJ. It's basically a computer program. Here's the hardware interface to control your DMX lighting. Now I'm learning this program with the help of Jingles 8302. <laughs> I couldn't remember his numbers. Jingle 8302 is a guru with this stuff and he's been very helpful over the last couple days. I got this on Friday and I'm already starting to use it. Now it's easy to use DMX software but easy to use in DMX software, as many of you know, or DMX anything easy to use, is a bit of an oxymoron. You just got to get your head around it. I think once I get my head around it, I'll be okay, but it's going to be a bit of a learning curve. Today, I'm going to show you the setup screen. I'm going to show you how to assign lights to DMX channels. I'm going to show you dip switch sheets. I'm going to show you faders because that's about all I know right now. As I learn, I will post more videos on this product, but I've got a couple weeks to get it right, and once I get it right, I'm adding it to my show. So without further ado, let's do it. But before we get into, I guess, the screen, let me show you how this all plugs in. Pretty simple, really. On this side, you have a USB input. On this side, you have a 3-pin DMX input. All you have to do is take a USB cable, plug it in to the My DMX interface. I believe they call this a doggle. Plug this in into your computer. It installs. Done. And then, uh, of course, right here, that's where you plug your uh, DMX cable in. Now once you have your software installed, all you have to do is click on the My DMX icon and the program will launch. If you have the hardware interface plugged in, which I believe is called a doggle, you'll start up in USB mode. If not, you're going to start up in demo mode. So here's your screen, and I'm going to take you through this and show you the setup screen, which is our, oops, our first tab up here, setup. Notice right here we have a scan library. Right here we have a DMX universe. There is a little box and a number representing each DMX channel from 1 through 512. And down here we have faders from channel 1 all the way up to, you guessed it, channel 512. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. The first thing I want to show you here is the scan library. What the scan library is, it's a comprehensive list of pretty much all of the popular lights that are out today, no matter who the manufacturer is. There's Chevet here, I'm just kind of thumbing through here, Martin, Dune, Elation, Emo, Eurolight, Eurotech, all kinds of stuff here. So let's go down to American DJ, those are the lights we're going to be working with today. Click right here. Notice our first light up here at the top, hope you can see that okay zoom in a little more, is the 64 LED Pro 7 channel Parkan. Well, I've got two of those. I'm going to be working with those. Now, this is how we add them to our DMX universe. Basically, the lights we're going to use with the faders. Grab it, drag it, and drop it. Now, it's a 7 channel light, so it's going to occupy channel 1 through 7. No more no less. Now I've got two of those so I'm going to drag and drop another one in channel 8 through 14. So now I've added two PAR64 LED Pro 7 channel lights to my DMX universe. Now this is cool. You can add as many lights as you want from as many different manufacturers as you want as long as you don't exceed 512 channels. Check this out though. If you have dip switches on your lights, watch this. Right up here in the corner, see these dip switches? I'm going to click on the first light. Bam, look. It shows me 
what my dip switch setting should be. Click on my second light, bam, shows me again. That's cool, because when it comes to mathematical equations, I rode the short bus. So this is going to help me out a lot for any lights that I have with dip switches. It'll tell me right here. So now that we've added these lights, let's go down here for a second. Notice channel 1 through 14 are now occupied. Now let me just kind of show you faders 1 through 7. This is what we've got. First of all, let's start at fader 7. This is the dimmer. Let's turn it all the way up for starters. We have red, green, and blue. Now, notice up here in these boxes, it's going to show you what color your power can is going to be, depending on where you set these three faders. You can get as many color combinations as your heart desires, basically, with this. There's also something called a color macro, which kind of flips you through some popular colors so you don't have to mix your colors over here on these three if you don't want to. Here's a strobe. Here's another macro. Best I can tell, this is kind of for fading. And then, of course, the dimmer. This might look a little awkward, but if I bring one of these faders up, you'll see that I have park hands aimed at the ceiling so you can see what these faders are actually making the lights do. So here we have red. As you can see, it's red on the top. Come over here to our second par can. We can do the same thing. We can make it red, or we can make it green if we want to, or any color combination in between, whatever we'd like to do. And notice that here at the top, I'll zoom in, at the top of the faders, it shows us what color we actually have on the ceiling. And that's pretty accurate. I come back over here. I can use this macro. I can kind of flip through any color combination I want. I can be lazy. I don't have to necessarily create my own colors with the three red, green, and blue faders. I can just pick a dock, which is probably okay when you're working with park hands sometimes. Right here we have the strobe. We can adjust that strobe however fast or slow we want it to go. Now here's that fade macro we were talking about before. Now we'll just make the light kind of fade in and out over there. Now we can come over here to the second park can and do essentially whatever we want to do. Maybe we want to make this one just strobe real fast. Maybe we want to make it strobe green or blue or possibly purple. Maybe a darker purple. Whoops, there we go, there's a darker purple. Now once I get more into this, there's some really neat stuff. They actually have a 3D visualizer where you can build stages. You can build entire nightclubs or concerts if you want to in this thing. Put your own lights in there and you can preview exactly what your light show is going to look like before you plug anything in. That is neat. And that's all to come. But we've got a lot of things to do before we get to that point. So bear with me. I'm going to learn as I go and I'm going to show you what I learn as I learn it. So until then, practice and enjoy.